we can already do amazing things in healthcare. From drugs to diagnostics to delivery of care, technology is breaking down old boundaries. One example is the way technology lets us miniaturize devices like cardiac defibrillators. But unlocking full clinical potential can require a new way of seeing. That's the power of digital reality technologies like augmented reality and virtual reality. Designing small, complex machines to work inside the body takes new levels of engineering. Augmented reality enhances this because the drawing board isn't a board anymore. Virtual reality has the potential to enhance the training that prepares the manufacturing workforce to put a specialized new device into production and adhere to a high standard of quality. Before medical professionals can use the device, they need to learn all about it. This is another area where digital reality is making strides towards supplementing traditional methods of clinical training. Then, when it's time for patients and families to reap the benefits, virtual reality may soon be the tool people use to help them prepare. Clinicians may use immersive 3D visualization to help the patient and family understand the procedure, watch for side effects, and know how to monitor the device later on. Soon, cardiologists, surgeons, and other proceduralists might use tailored scans of the patient's body to rehearse procedures for greater precision and to enhance outcomes. In the operating room, where millimeters count, AR could guide the operator in diverse ways, making the implantation safer and more effective. After the implantation, virtual reality may help the patient's post-surgery education and recovery more effective. That helps promote a better health outcome. It also helps reduce the cost and stress of hospital readmissions. Meanwhile, the device can generate a stream of data that the manufacturer can use for refinements. Across the journey of care, digital reality is leading us toward a new way of seeing that can make a difference in designing new treatments, administering care, and improving patients' lives. Where can it take us next?